is as simple as just pulling out of the parking lot. But you know what? I didn't pull out of the parking lot. I freaking ran into a pole. Because I'm not a happy camper right now. And yeah, I did a big number on that one. So I'm just going to have to get past this, guys. Oh my gosh. Shoot me now. Okay, hey guys, it's Jaylee Vlogs. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back to you here with another vlog today. Thank you to this lovely lighting, but to break the bad news, we just lost our basketball legend. You think that it's another basketball player, who cares, or just another person passing away, but this is Kobe Bryant. Literally, I was in tears. So, if you don't know who Kobe Bryant is, you should know. He's a very famous Lakers basketball player. And I am a 90s baby. And, you know, growing up, I have watched the Lakers games. Have always wanted to go to LA just to sit front seat to see Kobe play. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. Kobe's gone. He's gone now. Okay. Um, one of my bucket lists will never be able to happen and you know I'm still breaking down about this January 26th was when this happened at around 9 to 10 a.m. when he took the helicopter with his daughter and seven other passengers when the helicopter was up high I think uh, the guy just kind of like flew into a dust storm or it was cloudy that day and the helicopter just dropped, dropped from the air and Kobe and his daughter and all the other passengers went along um, with it. And it's just very devastating, very horrific, horrifying. And you know, that was like the worst day to be honest, knowing about his death. Someone like Kobe could just like pass away I mean, he's this tall basketball player and, you know, he just seems so invincible. Just suddenly, like, poof. So, you know, I wasn't in the right mindset that day and um, dro really drove my car into the pole. Like, literally. I was, like, really parked in a parking lot, too, which was the funny part. That I parked my ass in the parking lot. Um, when I drove out, I hit the pole. I just freaking hit the pole. Okay, that's the parking lot where I'm parked. Instead of passing that freaking pole, I went straight into it. Like, literally hit that pole right there. Like, straight into it and hit the pole. I contact my car insurance and I have two ways insurance, thankfully. Um, I'm in my 20s, but I get a good insurance rate because I'm literally an angel on the road, guys. I don't hit other people. I drive, I stop at the red light, I stop at the stop signs. I mean, if I like pass the red light, I would reverse my ass back. And you know, who knows, the cops will be catching me then but like I say I mean I'm a very honest driver I don't hit any cars I mean I'll have people rear end my ass or like even a park my car parked in front of my house a freaking huge cat bus would come by and then sweep the whole side of my car you know how do you get into an accident with your car being parked in front of your house well that happened to me but you know, since I'm not at fault, the cat bus company took care of it. The car that rear-ended me took care of it. But this time, I freaking hit a pole, okay? So I'm not as clumsy as you think I am. I don't like go and drive and get into accidents and hit people. 
So for this to happen to me, I feel stupid. It sounds stupid. Um, but my car insurance is taking care of everything. I don't know the accurate total in dollar signs yet until I actually take it to the shop tomorrow. So I'll bring you guys with me and um, I'll let you know what's gonna happen. So guys, it's rainy today and I just got my car to the dealership to estimate my car. You can see the scratches from that stupid pole. There's yellow dents and I even try to tape it with aluminum foil, but that's not helping it from like popping out. So all of this needs to be repaired. I'm thinking about two to three K most. Probably 3,000 would be the most. Hey guys, I have my estimator with me and he's gonna check out this whole front. So I just hit myself into a pole. That okay. <laughs> nobody hit me, so <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm paying for my stupidity, you know? <laughs> it happens. That's why they call it an accident. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, all I'm gonna need is the keys and stuff. I'm gonna get some notes and pictures. Okay. And then I'll put everything together. All right. So. Well, you know what? Of course, I booked this appointment in advance and you see how lovely the shop is and how fancy it is, my car rolling in. But you know what? The price tag to get my car fixed isn't lovely. Thank you very much. Before coming into this car body shop, I have had my car estimated already at a different place called Mako. And they estimated the damage on my car at only $2,500 to $3,000. Um, it's not as crazy as the way he described it. He said that, you know, I did a big number on this one and um, it might cost more than $5,000 to get it fixed. Anyway. It is what it is. Um, I will have to wait for them to uh, email me to know exactly what the numbers are and I cannot sit still right now.